فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير If we take a look at this beautiful faith of ours we will come to realize that from its very name from its very name it emanates peace and that's the last thing I want to talk about Al-Islam Islam, what does it mean? It means two things. It's salamun, which means peace. And it also comes from al-Islam, which means submission. And we have to combine the two in order to understand what it means. I will only achieve peace if I submit. That's what Islam means. So if we have not submitted, we don't achieve peace, even if we call ourselves Muslims. But you know, I say, okay, by the way, I'm a Muslim, but you know, I'll still drink. What does drinking do to you? Alcohol. People say, oh, like, like social drinking, no problem. Wallahi, number one, it's a waste of money. It's haram, that's there, we know that. Waste of money. Number two, intoxication. Do you know Allah says one of the biggest blessings you have is the brain? That is the distinguishing factor between you and the animal. And this is why it is prohibited to block the brain in any way. Whatsoever. So by you blocking it, even 1%, 5%, you're actually sort of joining the animals. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not let that happen. In fact, we become worse because I know of so many people and younger people are beginning to drink and beginning to engage in, you know, part, partaking of intoxicants and so on, different ways, the types of drugs. It's become a menace. It's become such that some countries have warned us, including Malaysia. When we are landing, they say, hey, Malaysia has got some strict rules regarding this and regarding that, and it may hold some big punishments. If you are bringing anything in, you better be careful. There's an announcement on the aircraft, I'm sure you know that. Especially for this country. Mashallah, it's good because it wakes people up. And it shows us that it's a problem. And it shows us that it will snatch away your peace. You see people on drugs, they feel high for a while. Hey. Oh, certainly, you're right. He feels like he's on the sky. He's a sky high. He feels like he's on cloud nine. In fact, maybe even cloud ten, to be honest. And then what happens? Once it fades away, he's finished. His health is gone. His wealth is gone. He begins to steal in the house. He's a pain. He's a menace. He cannot get along with his wife. His children will have to abandon him. And what example does he have? Drugs. May Allah protect us and our offspring and the Ummah at large and humanity at large. Ameen. Allah, it's a menace. So Islam says, you're not allowed, you can't. It's a rule. If you want peace, stay away from it. And you know what? If we say, okay, social drinking, social drinking, who is going to gauge what is social drinking? I know one man who was sitting next to me on a certain aircraft and drinking and drinking. He must have had bottles and bottles and he still looked a bit sober. So I spoke to him and I told him, hey, he says, no, I'm used to it. And I'm thinking to myself, well, he told me that some others might even just have a few sips and they might go tipsy. But he says, I can have a lot because I've been doing it since I was young. Now, I was thinking to myself, the debate would be, how much is just a social amount? Because of that entire debate, we know that in Islam, it's just totally prohibited. Look, cut it out and don't go there, carry on. Use the money for something more constructive. And this is why... My beloved brothers and sisters, I want to take the liberty to call upon those who smoke. It's a bad habit. <laughs> Quit it. Save up so much money, in 20 years you'll be able to buy a house in Kuchi. <laughs> Subhanallah. I promise you, calculate how much money you spend on smoking. Wallahi, it's a bad habit. It's a very bad habit. I'm saying it in such a nice way. Come on, let, let today be the day when you quit. And please don't go home and start pumping up your wife and say, look, these are all withdrawals. You know? I know it happened. <laughs> One day there was a guy who was so wild in the home. And when I, his wife phones me and says, look, he did quit smoking, but now, and I told him, you know what, guy? You're just pretending. There is no excuse. If I send Mike Tyson to you now, you will sit in one corner quietly. <laughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all peace and goodness. Your face is fake. Wallahi, I'm saying this without being ashamed of it. Because it's happening on the globe. People are not happy with their noses and their eyes and their chins and their ears and their